the Notre Dame Fighting Irish look to continue their ACC play against the Pittsburgh Panthers. This game is now showing bunt, though I would say with a two strike count in her powers, most likely what she will not be doing as she drives that one to left field and that's gonna get down off the wall. Another run's gonna come in. Here comes Seaman looking for two and she will get in under the tag. An RBI double for Sarah Siemens as Pitt takes a two nothing lead. And as a result, she squares it up, squares up the ball nicely, screaming line drive off the wall, and just gets under the tag of Brooke Marquez as they know that they can get the job done. They just need to, each individual person needs to do their job, Mitchell. not do anything outside of, of their capabilities. Mitchell takes the strike there down the middle. And rips that one high into left field. And that one is a no-doubter, clearing the bleachers in left field. And just like that, we've got a tie ball game. Mitchell will come home to the applause of her teammates. And Notre Dame responding with haste to two early pit runs of two of their own. Mitchell really takes that one for a ride. Looks like it's just on the inside half of the plate. And Jolie crushes it over the left field bleachers, showing off her power. Here comes the payoff pitch. And Orozco drives that one into left center, looking up and looking back over the scoreboard as Orozco goes yard with another no-doubter and Notre Dame with two home runs, two two, home, two, two run home runs, goes up 4-2 here in the first inning and it's a power party for the Irish in game one of the doubleheader. Doing what she trusts, and we'll see if that pays off here as she tries to get the strikeout. That one's gonna be looped into right field for a base hit. One runner's in, they're gonna hold the runners at all other bases, but Pitt will advance all runners, one in, and it's gonna be a 4-3 ball game with no out still here in the third. You see here, looks like Caster just leaves it right a little bit too much over the white of the plate, and Siemens goes inside out with that. Third inning. Castro is looking to mitigate the damage. That one's gonna be chopped up the middle. It's gonna be a base hit through to center. One runs in. They're gonna hold the runner at third and the throw will come home. But another run in for Pitt who takes the lead. 5-4 here in the third inning and nice hitting once again from Cap Rodriguez who chops that one up the middle. Now Bailey Drapola at the plate. Another one, you know, a hitter that can give a pitcher trouble is that one swinging into the light, right center and it's gonna get down. That should score multiple as it goes to the wall. Here comes one, here comes two, and Drapola into center, into second with a stand-up double, and Pitt pushes the lead to eight to four. Popped up, that one will get down into left center. That's gonna score another one. Whaley rounding first, heading the second, and will stand up there, another double, another RBI, and Pitt leads nine to four as part of a seven run third inning. This will be a big at bat. She attacks early, and that one's gonna get through to left field, one run scores. He's coming around third and coming home. Play at the plate will not happen. Two runs will score, here comes the run on the third. Safe there, all runners safe. Two runs come in, Sarah Siemens with a two run single. She'll come in at second on the throw, and Pitt pushes the lead to 11 to third here in what has been a nightmare, 11 to four in what has been a nightmare third for Notre Dame. Clean slate, no one on base. And that one's cracked into left field. Will it stay fair? It seems it would, and that one is gone. Two to Ramirez blasts that one over the left field bleachers. It stays fair by a matter of feet, and Ramirez cranks yet another one. And she rips that one in the left field, and that's gonna be a base hit. Another runner will come in, all runners will hold, and Mitchell gets hit with the ball, but will hold at second. And Notre Dame continues their one-out rally. And Pitt has just shown time and time again that they're not afraid of the challenge. As that one's cracked out and will be over the fence. Rodriguez with a blast to left field and Amanda Rodriguez extends the lead to six runs for Pitt. She cracks that one up in the air. It looks like it'll be playable and it will be. A nice catch by Rodriguez to end the game in foul territory. Pitt takes it 13 to 11 and takes the second game of the series and the first doubleheader.